Welcome to this Chrome Perfect user training video. Today we are continuing to work through the main manual and will focus on updating the calibration file within the analysis program. The program is opened by selecting the Analyze button on the main menu. We are using Chrome Perfect version 8 and Windows 11, other versions and operating systems might appear differently and you should consult the manuals supplied with the software. Now let's get started. Updating the calibration file. It is possible to load a raw file, adjust the integration, and update the calibration file. This is much faster than the usual procedure, which requires the creation and processing of a bound file. To update the calibration file, choose Components, then Update Calibration File. The following form will appear. This form closely resembles the one in the Calibration File Editor. Consult that chapter for an explanation of the controls. There is no need for a bound file name since the integration data is already in memory. When performing updates to several levels, it is preferable to wait for all levels to be updated before printing the update report. There is an extra checkbox, which controls whether the calibration file is saved. Adjusting the calibration file. Whenever a raw file is integrated, the analysis program identifies the components according to their search window positions and widths, as specified in the calibration file. If the identification is not satisfactory, these settings may be changed within the analysis program, and the plot will change to reflect the new settings. Furthermore, new components may be defined, and, with certain exceptions, components may be deleted. Using the same techniques, an entirely new calibration file may be created. It should be mentioned, however, that the file editor will create a new calibration file based on the peak list in a bound file, and this is much faster when many components will be present. Note, calibration file adjustments within the Analyze program are seldom complete. At the very least, the calibration file will require updating. Frequently it is necessary to use the calibration editor form to set the default component, retention time references, internal standards, and so forth. To start with an empty calibration file, choose Components, then make new calibration file. You will be asked whether you wish to overwrite the calibration file in memory. If you press Yes, then all component information is deleted. Existing calibration and bound files are not altered until you specifically overwrite them. The remaining actions in this section may be applied to a new or an existing calibration file. To edit the component list, choose Components, then Show Component List. The following form will appear. This list shows the name, expected retention time, and window width of all components in the calibration file. The names and numbers may be edited in the usual manner. Components that serve as the default component or as retention time references or internal standards for other components appear highlighted in pink and cannot be deleted. All other components may be deleted. New components may be inserted. These are highlighted in yellow. Cells that have been changed are highlighted in green. Pressing the OK or the Apply button causes the plot to reflect the new settings and eliminates the yellow and green highlights. New components may be quantified either by area or by height, as set in the Quantification tab section, shown on screen. New components will have the same number of levels as existing components, and the amount and response in each level will be set to the values shown in the form. The rest of the operations in this section accomplish the same actions in a different fashion. To add a new component, choose Components, then Modify Components, then Add. The Operation Assistant form will appear. Click on the chromatogram plot where the new component should appear. If you click within a peak, the new component will be centered over the peak top. You will have an opportunity to modify this position. To confirm the action, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The following form will appear. Enter the new component name and alter the expected time or window width as desired. The new component will be created with a single data point at level 1. Enter the amount and response values. The response value is not critical if the calibration file will soon be updated with one or more bound files. If the peak is to be quantitative by height, then check the Use Peak Height checkbox. If by area, leave it unchecked. When finished, press OK. 
The form will be replaced with vertical lines and a temporary label that indicate the search window position and width. To adjust the position, click on the label and drag it horizontally. To adjust the width, position the cursor over one of the vertical lines, and when it changes to a double arrow cursor, click and drag horizontally. To confirm the new component, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the new component will appear with its search window. There are two ways to edit an existing component. One invokes the dialog just described, and the other invokes the click and drag method. To invoke the dialog, choose Components, then Modify Components, then Edit Numeric. The Operation Assistant form will appear. Click on the chromatogram plot, and the nearest component will be selected. The nearest event may lie outside the plotted region, but it will be found anyway. If there are no components, the label will so indicate. To confirm the selection, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant, or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The form shown above will appear, but only the upper frame will be visible. Edit the component name, the expected time, or the window width, as desired. When finished, press OK. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the new component will appear with its search window. To click and drag, choose Components, then Modify Components, then Edit Graphic. The Operation Assistant form will appear. Click on the chromatogram plot, and the nearest component will be selected. The nearest event may lie outside the plotted region, but it will be found anyway. If there are no components, the label will so indicate. To confirm the selection, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant, or right-click on the chromatogram plot. There will appear vertical lines and a temporary label that indicate the search window position and width. To adjust the position, click on the label and drag it horizontally. To adjust the width, position the cursor over one of the vertical lines, and when it changes to a double arrow cursor, click and drag horizontally. To confirm the new component, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant, or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the new component will appear with its search window. To delete a component, choose Components, then Modify Components, then Delete. The Operation Assistant form will appear. Click on the chromatogram plot, and the nearest component will be selected. The nearest event may lie outside the plotted region, but it will be found anyway. If there are no components, the label will so indicate. To confirm the deletion, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant, or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the deleted component will vanish. Components that serve as the default component, or as retention time references or internal standards for other components, cannot be deleted. Nudging components Frequently it is necessary to adjust several components by a similar amount. To move multiple components graphically, choose Components, Modify Components, Nudge. The Operation Assistant form will appear, directing you to select a region of the chromatogram with the mouse. Click, drag, and release to define the region, which will be indicated by a pair of vertical lines. If there are no components, the label will so indicate. Otherwise, the label will indicate the number of components, and the region will snap to the selected components. To confirm the selection, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant, or right-click on the chromatogram plot. To adjust the position, click on the label and drag it horizontally. The vertical lines, but not the search windows, will follow the cursor. To confirm the movement, either press the Next button on the Operation Assistant, or right-click on the chromatogram plot. The chromatogram will be reintegrated, and the search windows will be drawn in their new positions. Thank you for watching, if you have not already, please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell icon to be updated when we release new videos. We would also appreciate if you could hit the like button, so YouTube recommends this video to others.